Mayor Muriel Bowser expected to update us on the city's snow plan. We will take that live when it happens around 930 this morning. And also this morning, all major school systems are closed. We've learned that the federal government will shut down at noon. Metro bus shuts down at 5 p.m. and Metro Rail will close down 11 o'clock tonight and will be down for the entire weekend. Many other local bus services also are halting service today as well. Good morning to you, Washington. It is a busy Friday morning as we are getting you ready for Blizzard 2016. We are your headquarters around the clock. Our uh, continuous around the clock coverage of this storm starts today at noon and we will stay on the air until this storm is over. Yeah, right now I want to get you updated though on when the storm will arrive and just how much snow we can expect. Jackie, what's the latest? Yeah, and that's been the biggest change since last night. The timing of this system, it starts a little bit earlier. So the newest storm information from the Stormwatch 7 team is that the timing of the snow between one and three for the DC metro area. Our snowfall total still kind of on par with what we thought yesterday, but planned for two feet of snow, pretty widespread across the region and having an impact from the storm system for days to come. So we've got the morning hours to get through before anything starts falling, and that gives you time to rush all your preparations to completion. The blizzard warning goes into effect this afternoon with winter storm warnings elsewhere, and really the big difference here just has to do with the wind, which is going to impact visibility, cause blowing and drifting and yeah, could bring us those power outages that last for days. So if you live southwest of town, it's going to be moving in here first. I think late morning into the early afternoon hours. Get a little closer to the metro, into Charles County, into uh, Warrington, into the Panhandle of West Virginia between 1 and 3 o'clock. And this includes D.C., Prince George's County, and Montgomery County as well. And then our northeastern zones and up towards Baltimore, this is likely going to start developing between 3 and 5 o'clock. Now, it's possible that when our snow starts, it's going to be pretty light and it'll stick wet that way for maybe an hour or so. But the intensity is going to pick up and conditions will deteriorate pretty rapidly to the point where if you get caught out, you could be in real trouble. And this really is a life threatening storm because only emergency officials should be on the roadways once we head towards sunset for tonight. Here's our snowfall totals that we're expecting the heaviest amounts along in west of I-95. Someone's going to get three feet of snow. Somebody to our south and east will get one foot of snow. So just plan for two and plan to be in place through the weekend. We'll have more information on travel conditions across the region in a few minutes, Julie. All right, Jackie. Well, we're keeping you up to date. What's happening right now with dry pavement, light traffic volume. That's a good thing if you do have to travel into work this morning. But again, you want to try to get back home by lunchtime. Here's a heads up from Metro. They will allow some overnight parking in garages this weekend over in D.C., Anacostia, Rhode Island Avenue and Minnesota Avenue. So make note again, starting at 930 this morning, a $15 snow emergency surcharge will be added to D.C. cab fares. So in addition to the fare itself, an additional $15 to get you through that snow. So do keep that in mind. Fairfax connector bus will shut down at one o'clock today. Ride on bus, normal operations at this point, but we are told they will be closed off around five o'clock this afternoon. Let's move on. We'll show you what we have out here on the roads. Capitol Beltway traveling on the west side of town between 270 and the American Legion Bridge and the GW Parkway. All lanes are open. An earlier crash at that long exit ramp at the GW is now gone. And then one last camera southbound along 270 coming inbound from 109 at speed. Looking good out of Hyattstown headed into Germany. In town. That's our traffic watch. Back within the next 10 minutes, we'll update your ride over on the east side of town. Back over to you. Okay. All right, Julie, thanks. Maryland, D.C., and Virginia have all declared states of emergency. Jimmy Labondi's over at the Winter Weather Alert Desk with what you need to know. Jimmy. Hey there, Audrey. Uh, in Virginia and Maryland, those states of emergency are already in effect. But in D.C., just about an hour and a half now at 930 this morning. So what does that mean for you at home? Well, in the district, it means you cannot park along any of those snow emergency routes, and there are a lot of them throughout the district. If your car is parked, you will be told and you will be paying a lot of money to get your car back. Hundreds of dollars, in fact. D.C. Mayor Muriel Bowser is updating the city's snow plan when the state of emergency takes effect at 930, and we will carry that live for you right here when it happens. Over to the free state in Maryland, Governor Larry Hogan is authorizing the use of 2,700 pieces of snow equipment, and you are encouraged to keep your car off the roadways in Maryland if you can, at all possible. In Virginia, VDOT crews are now under 24-hour operations, nonstop work. In fact, 500 Virginia National Guard personnel have also been authorized for possible assistance to help out. Now, let's get a closer look of how things are looking in Maryland right now. Our John Gonzalez is live in Calverton, where the gates to the Salt Dome opened just a few minutes ago, John. 
That's right. They just opened the gates here, Jumi. It was a beautiful sunrise here in Calverton, Maryland, but quickly turned into an ominous sky. And we are live inside one of the salt dome facilities here in Maryland, one of 98 around the entire state. And it is almost like the start of a NASCAR race. Gentlemen, start your engines. They are revving their engines this morning, and they are getting ready for what is going to be a very busy 36 hours. Maryland State Highway Administration is throwing everything at this blizzard. A full arsenal. 2,700 pieces of equipment. That includes the salt trucks, the plow truck like you're seeing right there on your screen, and even street graders. And on top of that, of course, we're talking almost 400,000 tons of salt. And you see one of the uh, big piles of salt here in Calverton, Maryland. And it's going to be a very busy time. You know, Maryland officials they got a lot of flack over the past 24 hours how they handled the snow on Wednesday night. That was maybe an inch of snow, that dusting, that turned into an ice debacle. But Governor Larry Hogan saying that this time around it will be very different and they want to try to stay on top of this. And the state of emergency here in Maryland, as you mentioned, Jumi, kicked in about an hour ago here in the free state. And that means that the state now has access to outside resources but it's also a very serious, a very important warning to residents in Maryland to try to get home as early as possible today and try to stay off the roads and let these folks here do their work. It's a lot of heavy lifting that they're going to be dealing with. And just to put things in perspective, how much salt does Maryland have to deal with? Well, this right here is a 20-pound bag of ice melt. Picture 40 million bags of this. That's how much salt the state has to tackle this storm. It's a huge one, but Maryland officials say they are ready for the challenge. Sam Sweeney, we are live here at this salt dome where things are getting going. You are in the district where I'm sure you're seeing much of the same. Johnny, we are here and it's starting to turn into a ghost town and that is because of Metro. It's an unprecedented move that Metro is taking. They are shutting down the rails and the buses, the entire system for the next 48 hours beginning later on this evening. Trains will stop running at 11 o'clock tonight. Buses will stop running at 5 o'clock tonight. This stoppage will go all the way through until at least Monday morning. We've been hearing from riders that things are quiet on the rails. I want to bring in one of those riders. JB, you just came in from Willie rest in. What's it like down there? Uh, like you said, it's a ghost town. There aren't too many people riding and those of us that did come into work today are probably going to try to get out of here around noon before uh, before we get hit. When you heard the news that this was going to shut down all the way until at least Monday, what would you think? Uh, I knew that I was going to spend the entire weekend with my wife. Not a bad weekend, right? Yeah. Stay dry, stay safe, and stay warm. Thanks so much, JB. I appreciate it. And again, we are waiting to hear from Metro throughout the weekend when they will reopen. But again, a very unprecedented move here. Shut down tonight at 5 o'clock for buses and trains at 11 o'clock. That's the latest live from the Lanfont Metro Station. I'm Sam Sweeney, News Channel 8. Yeah, Sam, hopefully it won't be all weekend. Let us hope. Yeah, thanks again. Well, if you need to travel, the time to get out is now. Right, Jeanette? Yeah, we are at Reagan National Airport and Larry just within the last hours, 100 more flights across the country canceled. We'll have more on all the red you're seeing and what you can do to protect your money if your flight gets canceled. That's after the break coming up on Good Morning Washington. I see HPV vaccine.